Welcome back to another episode of Grizzly True Crime. My name is Gizzela Kay, and this is another one of my case files, which is a compilation of clips that we've already gone over in live streams, where I made lots of commentary and we were discussing it as a community, and I'd put your comments on the screen. But this is for those of you who either just want to watch it again, all of it again, without all the pauses, or for those of you who don't like commentary at all, and you just want to see the files as they are, right? So we're going to see the clips. Well, I'm going to put it here for you after I'm done talking here. The clips of the search dog. Remember, it's bloodhounds. It's a bloodhound dog. That's a search dog. It wasn't a cadaver dog at first. I'm going to put some clues on the screen for you as well in case you need some reminders. So there's a search dog that was initially searching for Maddie because she was missing. They didn't know that she was no longer alive. But then later, when you see clips of a Belgian Malinois, I think that's how you say it, right? It is a cadaver dog. And that dog, I must say, what I didn't make clear in the live stream is that that dog was specifically doing a or performing a final indication alert. So it's not that he did not alert to anything on Stefan Stones' dad's vehicle. It's that they, they were instructing him to give a final alert. And it's interesting that the final alert was on Jen Soto's vehicle. Because, of course, we know that Stefan Stones went back to the area the next night. So, also, if you notice that cadaver dog sniffs the door handle and then kind of breathes on it, someone was saying maybe that caused those smears that they took photos of and things like that. I don't know. Let me know what you think. And, of course, when you rewatch the body cam of Jen Soto and Stefan Stones reporting Maddie missing. And when you rewatch the media interviews with Fox and the other news channels, please comment below if anything jumps out at you. What do you notice? What did you pick up on? When did they use past tense? What did they say? You can also put a timestamp if you want to. How you do it, the format would be, like let's say it's at 17 minutes and 35, right? So you would type in 00 colon 17 colon 35 so that it's 17 minutes 35 right okay so i look forward to reading your comments thank you so much for those of you who support both formats who like to interact with us in the live streams and also support these and want to watch these for themselves and just see what you can find i look forward to reading your comments and i will see you again in the next one stay safe please note that this content is for adults only viewer discretion advised if you haven't yet hit the subscribe like and share. Stefan, where's Maddie? Did you hurt her? Are you a pedophile? What's on your cell phone? Why aren't you talking to investigators? Where was Maddie last seen? Why aren't you helping her mother and her family? This is a little girl. Help them find Maddie. Where is Maddie? What is, where is she? What did you do with her? Tell us something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's gonna sniff everybody. He did the yeah. same thing too yesterday. 
he um just hold on to it right now yeah it's good that he smells everybody because then he kind of differentiates who's who's been around and have a little potty Potty today, so he uh, that's probably another place, another thing he's gonna look for. Where? Um. I just, I, I'm gonna be going like right in front of the door though. I'm gonna be going like right where you guys are. Yeah. You guys can go inside if you want, because then I just don't want him trying to track you guys. Yeah. He's a pretty cute little guy. Just as long as everybody's inside. I'm not going to go inside. I'm just going to start at the front door. Watch out, Wyatt. Leave it. Here. Plus the wind is not no help either. Yeah, well it's like a tunnel yeah. between the buildings. Yeah. So it's breezeway in a sense. Yeah, yeah. Uh oh. Found it. <laughs> My friend. I'm gonna have to pick that one up. I have bags in the car. God, Wyatt, really? Oh God, stinks. I'm just gonna have him face the other way and then he's trying to open the door. Oh God, <laughs> he opened the door, sorry. He knows how to open doors. <laughs> Come here, Bubba. <laughs> Come here, Wyatt, leave him. Yeah, yeah, he knows how to open the doors with the handles on him. Come here, leave him. He'll probably try to, I bet you anything, he's going to turn back around and try to go back to that. Yeah, because he knows now there's a dog there. Come here. Ugh, God, your poop stinks. Come here. Sit. Quiet. He does not want to cooperate. Come here. Hispanic female, white shirt, black pants, Hispanic male, gray sweatshirt, jeans, close to 20.6. Alright, um, go ahead and open it. 3412, regarding the verbal, be advised to put your phone back in the sister-in-law. Yeah, thanks. Tracking behavior. That's not normal. Subject 
car is his? Oh. And he's just circling. He's uh he's frittering. So and now he's gonna go back. <laughs> no, sorry. He's he backtracks a lot, so he kind of just circles. The car's been moved by them. So, the, uh, the area where he had parked before could have been different. So it could have been right here. I was just wondering if he hit on the car. But. It's gonna be normal because if she got into the car, this is the area where she lives. Yeah. I'm gonna put him back in the car. Come here. No, son. Come on. Stand. Get back.
Hey buddy, what are you doing?
Thank you. Yeah, I was back. Property form, there's a portion for them to sign off on it. On but I don't, the computer? No, 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 not on the computer, on the property, like the actual property form itself. Oh. But I don't have any, so I gotta. I was gonna say, like, how does this work? I guess I would just have, have to double. To come back yeah. No. So I'm just gonna get them on body cam now, stating that we could pull it. Yeah. And yeah. then from there, come back and then just make them sign one, I guess. I guess, yeah. Just to satisfy the agency. <laughs> Let me go make contact with them now. gonna try to see if we could pull one more clothing for a collection of clothes okay that's okay with you guys yeah. yeah we're gonna pull one more and then we're gonna have the dog sniff it out again and see if we could get another track going yeah all right can i get you like the last outfit you was wearing is it has it been like with all the clothes and all that like your clothes it got, it got mixed in with pink clothes and dirty clothes sure. what do you think is it on the floor there in the bathroom it's in the laundry basket um, Were the other clothes not good enough? No. We just try to collect separate ones and then we separate all of them just in case one was contaminated. We have something else we can use without having to come and bother you guys. I was thinking on Sunday, the last week we had her. Yeah. Or, 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 or Sunday, she had a lot of money. I wasn't sure if that would be helpful right now. Is it other people's dirty clothes or is it no, hers? just hers. Is there, is her what underwear? like a pillow that she likes to sleep with? Her underwear is that, I mean, all that stuff works. Yeah, but like, you slept on the pillow this morning. Oh, uh, that's right. So. I snuggled with her pillow. Um, um, like, is, would she Underwear, taken, there would be underwear on the bathroom floor. Okay, I thought I and saw And that hasn't been touched. Yeah. Okay, then that'll, that's like the closest thing to her body. Yeah. So. yeah. That's, okay. That's, that's okay. Yeah. 
Okay. Eight, you ready? Okay. The park, when I talked to them, they said, uh, it looked like five or six. Five or six kids at the park. All right. Yep. Give me a second, bro. Hey, I, I, Go ahead. Let me finish up with this and I'll give you a call. Are you able to pick up call 931, please? I'm currently working uh possible signal late. Can you can I hold off on that? Twenty-six. Thirty-four Of course. Uh, do they speak English? Yes, yes, yes. Hi there. Hey there. Hey there. What's going on? So, I was dropped off close to school this morning, but never made it. I went to the school. I'm sorry, one second. Yeah. Go ahead, sir. Are we looking for another kid or we have a kid? Looking for another one. Uh, I'm trying to get there right now. Absolutely. Okay. All right, um, so we'll she was supposed to be dropped off at school, didn't make it to school. Didn't make it to school. I went to pick her up from school today, okay. and she never came out. Okay. They, they announced it over the speaker, and I'm just like, maybe she walked here, because sometimes she'll walk here to this office. Mm -hmm. I came here, nothing. I went back to the school, they were closed. I got a notice, an email from the school saying she was absent, but I also messaged her teacher and he looked at her entire attendance today and saw that she was completely not at school today either. Okay. Um, so she never made it. Okay. What's her name? Madeline. M-A-D-E-L-I-N-E. M-A-D-E-L-I-N-E. I-N-E. Last name? Soto. S-O-T-O. S-O-T-O? Yeah. Date of birth? February 22nd, 2011. February 27th, 2000? 22nd. Oh, sorry. 22nd. 2011. 2011. Just started 13th birthday. 13th. Madeline Soto, age 13. I'm trying to get a clothing description now. What was she last seen wearing? Green hoodie. Um, Green hoodie. White Crocs. White Crocs. Either blue or black pants. I think black shorts. Black shorts? Yeah. Black shorts? Mm -hmm. Okay. Black shorts. Alright. Do you know she has like friends in the area? She does, but she doesn't know where they live. She doesn't know where they live. Okay. I asked all of them. Um, okay. Is this like, did she like have any places that you guys know that she'll be usually be at? Any friend's house? Any places that like she likes to hang out? Not typically, no. Not typically? No. Okay. Um, just give me one second. Let me see if I get some. Thank you. No problem. And what school she goes to? One, two, five. Do you guys have, do you have a picture of her? Can you drop it to me? Yeah, I know. Um, let me see which picture. I don't know which picture. Looking recently, probably from a birthday party, right? Yeah, but I wasn't there, so I had to look at. What's up? Yeah, I guess. Go ahead. That's what I'm about to grab right now. 
yeah. Alright, cool thing. Is this a good enough picture, or do you need a whole yeah, body picture? Okay. Ah! How do I air drop? I don't know how to do it. I got you. Okay, where's the photo? Right there. It's on WhatsApp. That's fine. I saved it to my photos, so you could go You saved it to your photos? Yeah, we Perfect. could just go to the photos. Okay, perfect. Give me a second. I'm going to send it out right now to my other guys. Thank you very much. No problem. Never showed up. So they... They called since I don't even know when, but they whenever they what did you say that what did you call? My question is not why is this not a code three when it first came out? Yeah, so I, that last time she was seen it was early this morning, like seven o'clock. That's what I'm about to see. I'm about to go track. I just try to get as much information now of her clothing description. Send it to Diaz. The Diaz has a hit in like a, a big area full of kids. So if you want to help me out with this one, yeah. my signal is expert. <laughs> She left it at home today. I have it. You have it. And I've already gone through her messages. Okay. How about, does she have like an Apple Watch? Yeah. Does she have? She's got a device. The only device she's got on her right now is her school laptop. Her school laptop. Is that trackable? I don't think so. You don't think so? Yeah. It should be. 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 It'll try to connect to the Wi-Fi. So, like, circle here. They could have seven years of your position. Well, yeah. Does she know how history of that way or anything? Yeah. She just hang out. Possibly. I don't know. She got dropped off. She was like, I... So, she's going to barely explain this car. So, she didn't want to be dropped off at school. She wanted to be dropped off, like, half a block away so she can walk. It's an interesting. She's in the face. But he dropped her off half a block away and drove away. Okay. Did she ever go to school though? No, she, we called school. She was walking in that direction. She was rifling through her backpack, just looking for something. I thought maybe she was just looking for headphones before she got her walking on. Yeah. Um, but she was just kind of, you know, shambling over in that direction. It looked Actually, the same as any other morning. Okay. okay. Um, okay. What was the last thing you asked? If she had went to school. Um, so, so. I got confirmation from the school that she never made it. They sent me an email saying she, she didn't make it. Mm -hmm. But I also spoke to her or emailed one of her teachers directly. And he no. looked at all her attendance for all her periods and told me she, she didn't make it at all today. Okay. Um, Say it again. No, she was, she was, she's supposed to have a book bag. She was supposed to go to school, but didn't go to school today. Good. Okay. All right. Battery FGOA two one two three one nine turtle back loop. Third party inferred Saturday okay. complaint. All right. Children cool, 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 cool. by two juvenile right. males. Your question is only it's code two nineteen point five. Um, I'm trying to figure out uh, secondary spots, but so far negative on anything. Um. 
Yeah, you could be 51 of me. Alright, cool. Sorry for watching. Alright, cool. Yes, yeah, said negative on that hit at the park. So. I think black shorts. And was the last time you seen her? Do you know the around what time? Around eight thirty, eight forty when we when we dropped her off. How tall is she? Five one. Uh, weight? 110 um, pounds. 110, 120. Um, hair color? Blonde. Blonde, like a dirty like blonde. blonde. Like a dirty blonde? Like a normal. Yeah. Okay, um, eye color? Blue. Does she have any markings on her, like any scars or anything like that? She has a distinctive beauty mark on her face On here. her face. On the face, like below the nose or near the nose? Yeah, yeah like right in that area there. It's, it's very distinctive. You'd know it if you saw it. Big. Any other scars or anything like that? Which scars? No. no. Tattoos. Tattoos. No. Tattoos. No. 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 You'd be surprised. <laughs> Did you put out the description? I yet? put the top part out. I didn't get the rest of the stuff here, so I need to put it out. Can I just see that phone? Black shorts, white pants, and socks, approximately five one night. Blonde, dirty, dirty blonde hair. Blue eyes, has a beauty mark under the nose. Yeah, I'm trying to see if I can find her paperwork. Anything. Does she have any social media or anything like that? She has uh, Instagram. 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 Right here. She has phone. Try it. It is for you. Just, just family Thank cousins. Thank you so much. I definitely appreciate it. Right here. That's her profile? Yeah. Any Snapchat or uh, she games, right? Let me she get the games. She, no, that's that's yeah, not a she plays she plays like Was it here? I can't remember the exact spot, but it was around where these communities were. Oh, thank you. So it's like around where these communities were. Okay. And it's just like in this stretch, like we could see the, the overpass down there. Where's the, where's the school? Uh, just on the other side of the overpass. So somewhere around here. So yeah, somewhere, maybe not this one, but the next one possibly is right in this stretch and we just came down and we drove about halfway down and she was like that's good right here okay on the second floor
24, thank you. No, no yeah. cameras up right now. Yeah, I'm trying to see if we can find something. Yeah. Um, Jen, go ahead and, and tell us what's going on with Maddie. Well, um, Monday morning, we took her to school. We dropped her off close to school, across the street from a church, which is very, it's right next to the school. Um, she crossed the street um, and walked to school, what we thought walked to school, Um my boyfriend who drove her to school walk, drove away at that point. Um, it was seen on video footage that she hung out in the parking lot of the church for a few minutes and then got up and walked towards the school. But she never made it from that walk from, and that was around 9 a.m. when she got up. Uh, she never made it to school after that. Um, it's right next to the school. I don't know why she didn't make it. I don't know if something happened on her walk along the way or she got taken, but she never made it. And that um, was the last anyone seen of her or heard from her? Yes. Um, I went to pick her up after school um, and she wasn't there. Um, so I started driving around, trying, maybe thinking she took a walk. Maybe she decided to walk to my mom's office, which is pretty close to the, the school as well drove around and I didn't see anything. I drove back to the school. The school was closed. I emailed one of her teachers. They confirmed that she was absent all day. At that point is when I called 911 because I realized something was truly wrong. Have um, you heard from like any of her friends? Has she been active on any social media? She hasn't been active on social media. None of her chats, none of her games. Uh, we did contact all her friends. None of them had seen her Monday or heard from her. Um, yeah, there's no update. Uh, and I have to ask this, and I know I, I hate doing it, but is she the type that would run away? Has this happened in the past or anything? Has she ever threatened to, to run away? Never. She's never, ever mentioned anything like this before, and she's not the type to want to do this. Um she did accidentally leave her phone on Monday, um, which is kind of normal for her. She's got ADHD and very forgetful. Um, so she left her phone at home, so there's no way to trace her. They tried tracing her school laptop, um, but that's off, so it's not pinging to anything. Jen, what what is your fear? I know you mentioned she's on games and stuff. Do you think she could have like met somebody and tried to meet up with them? From she's open to us. She's open with us about, you know, if she's got a crush with anyone. And she told us she had a crush on someone at school. Um, and I looked at their messages. Nothing was weird. I looked at all of her messages, all of her deleted messages. Nothing seemed weird. It didn't seem like she was talking to anyone. Um, so I don't feel like that's the case. I feel like she may have been taken um, because this is not like her at all to just disappear and not tell us, not let us know where she's going or who she's with. Um, yeah. What What are you getting from law enforcement? Are, I mean, are they actively searching for her? I mean, what, what happens now? I mean, especially that she doesn't have her phone with her. Um, so as far as I know, they're conducting a search around the school, behind the school. There's a Shingle Creek. There's a, a wooded path area that you could walk. Uh, it's a hiking path. They are going back there with their canine dogs. Uh, they've taken a piece of her clothing to see if they can trace her scent. Um, they're also taking their own vehicles. I'm not sure what type of vehicles, but they're going into the woods to search for her. Um, but I don't feel like that's going to find anything right now. We've had people all day on that trail sending us photos to see if anything there looks familiar and like her personal belongings and nothing is hers. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure where to go from here. I'm just contacting 
the news to get the word out to get some help because I'm desperate. I I'm a wreck right now. So you think that she's been taken against her will? I do think so. Yes. As a mom, you know, what is your, what's your mother's intuition telling you right now? I'm trying to hope for the best, but I'm just, I'm scared for her. I want her to be okay. And I want her to be safe. I don't want, to, I don't want her to come back harmed. I, I just, I just want her back. Whatever that means. Just, I just want her back. Are you getting any updates from law enforcement? I mean, yes, they're searching that small area, but have they gotten any hits on any scent or anything like that? They haven't let me know anything. They haven't updated me since I spoke to them this morning. I've contacted them to get some information or to give them some leads, but I've heard nothing back. And Jen, there's no way that she just being, you know, a teenager was like, maybe had a fight with you or an argument with you and was like, you know what, I'm going to go hang out at so-and-so's house and teach her a lesson. You know, th could that be yeah. a scenario? I don't believe so. We actually haven't gotten into a fight in like a few weeks or arguments or anything like that. If anything, on Sunday, she celebrated her 13th birthday with my entire family and she had the best day. She was so happy. She showed us all her gifts. Um... She was, she's just a happy girl and she showed it on, on Sunday night when she went to bed. She was so happy. So, you know, she had the best day. I just, you know, there was no, there was no moment in that evening from when she got home from the party that she had her phone or had the laptop. She went straight to getting ready and went to bed. So I know she didn't have any conversations with anyone. She didn't make plans with anyone. I didn't, I didn't see any of that. So she's yeah. spent the whole Sunday celebrating her 13th birthday. Was her 13th birthday on that Sunday or that was just like the, the time you guys were celebrating? That was the time we were celebrating. Her birthday was on Thursday, the 22nd. Okay, she just so turned 13. But that's just so heartbreaking to be celebrating her 13th birthday. And then the very next day, she's that's gone. the last you, you see her, you've seen of her. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, where where do you go now? Are you gonna go out there and and search or look or what, what is your? Are you sticking by the phone? Are you you know what are you doing? I'm staying at home, staying by the phone, hoping she just appears. Um, I know my entire family is out looking. They've all uh, spread a bunch of flyers. They've gone. I, I've had people contact me that they've gone to the international airport to spread flyers to Amtrak to Greyhound, just any way that if someone's taken her and they're trying to take her just to show her face, just to make sure, you know, she's not being taken against her will. And you mentioned ADHD. Was there anything else maybe mentally going on or that, that you knew of? Um, she does suffer from anxiety. And once upon a time she was diagnosed with autism. Uh, we had her re what's the word? Reevaluated. Okay. We had her reevaluated um, a few months ago, actually, and they told us no, she didn't have autism, but she did have some autistic traits. She did have ADHD, some autistic traits, but not autism. So I'm not sure where to leave with that because one doctor said she did, and one doctor saying she doesn't, and I don't know. She's just in the middle, I guess. She because she does have some tendencies, but socially she's pretty great. So I'm not sure. And with the video that you were able to see whenever your boyfriend dropped her off, where where was that? What like which video? Was that a surveillance camera? It was a surveillance camera from the church, uh, Peace Church, right next to Med uh, Hunters Creek Middle School. And do you have that video? I don't have that. Um, they didn't show me. They wouldn't show me. It was actually. They, they, my sister was the one at location and they were letting her know what they saw on camera. Okay. Uh, they didn't show it to any of us. Got it. Okay. Jen, is there anything else that you'd like to, to add? <sighs> please, please, please. If you have any information, contact me, contact law enforcement. Um, any, any information helps. Um, 
Maddie, if you see this, please come home. Please be safe. I love you very much. If you have my Maddie, please just let her come home. We just want her home. So the first question is if I can have your first, your last name, and spell them both out for me. Okay. Jennifer Soto, J-E-N-N-I-F-E-R-S-O-T-O. -E Mother. Mother. Jennifer, tell me how you feeling right now. I feel like I can't breathe. All I keep thinking about is where is she? Is she safe? Is she okay? But we're we're all a wreck. My entire family is a mess. We're just so worried. When did you first realize, or when did you file a missing report? We filed a missing report. Uh, we called the police at like 4:45 uh, yesterday, 4:45 uh, p.m. But she actually went missing early that morning, around between 8.45 and 9 o'clock in the morning she went missing. Um, we had dropped her off close to the school. Um, she wanted to walk the rest of the way. We dropped her off at school, close to school. Um, she wanted to walk the rest of the way. Um, I'm not sure what I'm allowed to share. You share whatever you feel comfortable sharing. I know you had conversations with detectives. Um, not sure what that conversation <clears throat> is, but whatever you feel comfortable sharing that we'll put the awareness out there. Yeah, she was uh, spotted walking uh, by the church, by the middle school uh, on the cameras. They saw her hang out in the parking lot for a little bit and then get up and leave. They didn't see a vehicle or anything else. They just saw her walk away uh, around 9 a.m. heading towards the school, but she never made it. Um, yeah. What has the school said? Have you given any contact with the school? Yes, um, that they're doing everything they can. They've given me all their resources. The principals called me. They've looked at their cameras. Cameras, um, I don't think they've caught anything. The cameras is too far away from the sidewalk. Everything is too grainy, so they can't see specific faces. Um, but they've looked. Um, I'm just waiting to hear anything else from them. Is this normal behavior? Not to at all. just not show up or call or text or anything? Not at all, no. Um, she, from time to time, she will leave her cell phone at home accidentally, and that's actually what happened yesterday. She left her phone at home. She went to school. Um, but that happens from time to time. She's got ADHD, uh, her memory. <laughs> She's very forgetful. Um, so, yeah, there's no way to track her right now because I have, well, the detectives now have her phone. Uh, but this isn't normal behavior, no. What was the last thing, I guess, that the conversation that you two had, you and your daughter? Um, we spoke about her birthday party. She had a birthday party on Sunday. Uh, she had a great time. Uh, I couldn't make it because I was working. But she had an amazing time. She was so happy with all her gifts. Uh, I, I told her good night and um, yeah, that was it. I, I, I was the one who took her to school in the morning. That was my partner. Um, but yeah. 13? She's 13 years old, yes. 13, Madeline? Madeline. Madeline. Um, what are you thinking right now?
in my heart, I feel like somebody took her. This isn't like her to just pick up and run away. Um, or just not go to school. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to think. Friends, the friends' parents, you've contacted and Everyone. went through every single person? Everyone that we know that she knows. We've contacted them all, reached out to them. The parents have gone out to search and look for her as well. And we haven't come up with anything yet. I've seen a lot of posts on uh, Facebook, um, Hunter's Creek, rants and raves and what have you. Did people um, say that they were going to conduct some type of like search party or anything? Uh, a lot of people have asked me to volunteer. Like if there is one, if they, if they can do one. Um, there, I have people passing out flyers, going to every store in that vicinity, a gas station, church. Um, I think people people were being stopped in the street this morning in front of the school to see if they've seen anything, if they've heard anything. My family is, they're going all out right now. Um, yeah. I know as a mother, you have, a lot is going on in your brain um, so much to bring her back home what have, what have the, the law enforcement told you that you are able to share I mean that they're doing the best they can uh, they've had detectives come out interview us they took a piece of her clothing for the canine dog to see if they can sniff her out. I'm not sure when that's being done. Um, Do you have any inkling where she possibly could be? Like if you would say, okay, last time um, I went to work and came back, she was at Jane's house or, or, or Sabrina's house. and maybe I forgot to check that house or she played at this park one week and maybe she went back there or something like that. We've looked everywhere we could have thought and anywhere she would have been. Um, she would have known to wait for me at the school. Um, but we did check where if she could have walked. Um, my mom's office is close to the school. We checked there. We checked the walking paths that she could have taken. We've checked all of her friend's house. I, I think we've checked everywhere I could think of, honestly. What do you think, um, oh gosh, I just had to tip my tongue. What was she wearing? She was last seen wearing a green hoodie, black shorts, white Crocs, a black Jan Sport backpack with gray hibiscus flowers on it. And you said, this is not like her. Not at all. To run away, an argument, anything like that to provoke her? She's never done anything like this, no. And we haven't had any arguments recently to have this outcome. What school? Hunters Creek Middle School. Tom, any questions? No. Is there anything that you think our viewers would need to know about the way you're feeling, the family's feeling, Madeline. We are desperate for any answers, anything that you could do to help. I'm here for it. Just please, if if you see my daughter, just please bring her home. I just hope you're okay, Maddie. I hope you're safe. I hope you're not hurt. I just hope she's okay. When um, when did you notice that she was missing? Because this was at the beginning of the, the morning. Um, she got dropped off in the morning. We did not notice until after school pickup at 4, at 4 o'clock when I went to go pick her up and she wasn't at school. So we're going in 24 hours now? Yeah. Just about? Yeah. Nothing? Nothing. No word. No text message. No messages anywhere from her. I've looked at all her social medias, I've looked at all her games she could have played with, any any app, no weird conversations, no, nothing strange, everything was conversations with 
just normal friends or us. Did she knows how to get home by herself? As if like let's just say take a, to take a bus or an Uber or something like that. She would know how to get home alone, correct? I'm not sure. I don't know if she would know how to get home. Maybe, I mean, if someone, I'm thinking if someone got in the car with her and, and if she pointed the way, what roads, she probably could figure out how to get, but like, does she know her full address? I don't think, she, I don't think she does. Which would give me the, which, I mean, it just puts in my brain that she always comes home with with someone. She always comes so home with me. So there's no need for her to really exactly. learn. Okay. And you said no time? I think that was everything. Oh. All right, the first question is if I can get your first and last name and spell them both out for me. Stephen Stearns, S-T-E-P-H-A-N, S-T-E-R-N-S. All right, so Stephen, you seem very emotional right now. Explain to us. I dropped her off. Everything looked fine when I drove away. It's the last time we saw her. What were the conversations that y'all had in the car when you dropped her off? Not much. She was asleep for most of the way. Told her have a good day at school when she got out. I love her. She said thanks. Love you too. That was it. And so where, where, where do you think she could possibly be? I mean this isn't, as I was told, this isn't normal behavior. This is not normal behavior. She's not the type that would just run off. We don't know where she can be. We're scared. We just want her home. Are you, in a sense, blaming yourself? It's hard not to. Why? I dropped her off early. I could have waited longer. She looked okay. She was walking towards the school when I saw her. It was like any other day, so I went on with my day. It's hard not to blame myself. What has the conversation been with Jen since... She's been very, a lot stronger than me. She's been holding it together really well. And, uh, but it just keeps coming in waves. Just the reality keeps hitting. We don't know where she is. We don't know if she's safe. We're just scared. We just want her home. Have you, like, literally put boots on the ground, went out? Yeah, I even went out with the cops. Uh, where I had dropped her off and we looked all up and down the road all along the communities and there was nothing helpful none of the cameras were pointing the street nothing which in 2024 was surprising the church across the street had some cameras and they mentioned seeing her waiting around in the parking lot for a while before moving on and that was it but it was grainy it was grainy footage and not much, not much else. Does it seem like she walked west, east? Uh, they said in the direction of the school. I'm not sure what that is. What was the language? Not language verbally, language body language. When you dropped her off, did she seem happy? Was happy. she like, I'm going to meet she my friends? Happy. She had a happy weekend. She just turned 13. She had a 13th birthday party. She was happy that we were all together here. And She's just very happy. She was a happy kid. She's very sweet. She's a very sweet girl. She brings a lot of joy to us and we just, just not knowing. So the unknown is killing you? Yeah, it's like our whole world is upside down. I'm not feeling her presence here is... I'm sorry. It's hard. I know you're fine. Don't then need to apologize. Um, what do you want our viewers to know when they see some when they see this? She's a sweetheart. She's a very sweet, kind girl. Just please be nice to her. Bring her home if you find her. Tell her that we love her. Wherever she is, I hope she's okay. I mean, if someone were to come in contact with her and you gave me her diagnoses would it be easy to approach her without any like agitation or anything yeah yeah 
she's she's a good kid. She's a good kid. If you can sum up in one complete sentence, waking up, getting ready to drop her off at school, dropping her off at school, to now speaking to me after talking to the police about her being missing for over 24 hours right now. In one complete sentence, what would that be? A living nightmare. It's a living nightmare. They started off like any other. And I just want to wake up. You just get hit with waves of the reality. Just it's setting in. As soon as it got dark last night, we really, we started falling apart. Cause we knew it wasn't going to come to an end. And now we're going on 24 hours and still nothing. Just conflicting reports here and there. People say they see this or that. None of it's conclusive and none of it's helpful. We just want a baby girl back. Tom, any questions? No, I'm good. Thank you. I have some other questions that I want to ask you about. Any update that you can give on the Maddie Soto case? I know when we spoke with Kissimmee Police yep. at their last news conference, uh -huh. they said they're still waiting on medical examiner's report. Do we have an update on that, how she was killed, where she was killed, any yep. timeline of murder charges? Yeah, so we are working still closely with our justice partners and Kissimmee Police Department to um, gather all the information that we can. Um, and so if we um, are able to, we will present that case and you'll have an update when um, we're able to speak about it. But no update on releasing any information about how she was killed. Yeah, so that's all good things that have to stay within um, the investigation. It's open and ongoing. Um, and so the integrity of our cases depend on um, that information not being readily available because uh, the last thing we need is all when we saw uh, with uh, cases where you have to go out and find jurors from different jurisdictions and you have to you know, bring in jurors to try a case because a case had become so well known to the people in the community that we can't present a fair trial. So we want to have, we want to be able to present a fair trial. We want that case to be tried by the people of our circuit um, and the people of our circuit to determine what's the best result for that case. One follow up, is that a concern right now? I know when I spoke with uh, experts, they said because of the high profile nature Correct. of this case, it, it may have to be moved. Yeah, so that's exactly the reason why. So we, the, less, the less likelihood that we can, um, obviously we want to make sure that you are involved and that the public knows that we are working hard on the case, but when information and facts are, are like, you know, to be leaked and, uh, and things then take a turn, uh, where those type of things have to happen, where we have to maybe have change of venue, where we have to um, import a jury and uh, sequester a jury for a whole month or, or two months, depending on how long the case is going to take to present. And so it's a great cost to the, like, to the citizens because taxpayers are paying for that. And um, it, I think it really takes the out of the hands of the peers that should be trying the case. So the law wants you to look at you know, the peer, your peers should be trying the case, not somebody from a different community, somebody from your own community should be the person to people trying your case. He's sitting in the jail cell right now, and if convicted of child sex crimes he's accused of, Stephen Stearns could spend the rest of his life in prison, regardless of what happens in the investigation into the death of 13-year-old Madeline Soto. I don't think this case is going to go, and if the murder charges are added, uh, you're going to be a year and a half, two years away before this case comes to trial. Stephen Stearns, the prime suspect in the disappearance of Madeline Soto, is the boyfriend of Soto's mother. He was the last person seen with a 13-year-old. In May, he'll stand trial not for her disappearance, but rather dozens of sex crimes. If the defense is not ready for trial, which I don't think they will be, uh, at that trial date, they're going to move to continue to give them more time to examine the evidence. So far, investigators have examined enough for the state's attorney's office to charge Stearns with 60 counts of sexual battery on a child under 12 and lewd or lascivious molestation. Stearns has not been charged in Maddie's death as law enforcement continues to investigate and has yet to charge anyone. They're waiting for all of the evidence to come in so they can carefully look at it, analyze it, and make a informed decision as to the murder charge. Now, former Chief Judge Belvin Perry presided over the Casey Anthony case. He says right now he's commending law enforcement for taking their time to go through evidence and DNA to find out how Maddie died, taking out anyone who's not involved in her murder and holding the person responsible without making any mistakes. Tell me about your daughter. Maddie was... Uh 
just the most important person to my wife and I. Uh, she was just full of joy. Tyler Wallace had last spoken to his daughter on her birthday. He had no idea it would be the last time. How did you find out? I was informed uh, through the a phone call from Jennifer uh, that she was missing. What was her demeanor? Jennifer's. Uh, um, was she calm? Was she no, freaking out? I would say anxious. The next morning, he got in his car and drove from Texas to Florida, only stopping for gas. But shortly after he got here, Madeline Soto's body was found in this rural area of Osceola County. Her mother's boyfriend, Stephen Stearns, is charged with sexual battery and possession of child sex abuse material. He is the main suspect in her murder after investigators say Stearns is on video dumping her backpack and laptop in a dumpster in the early morning hours of the day Maddie was reported missing. Did your daughter ever indicate that something was going on in that house? Not to me, no. What did you think of Stephen Stearns? I had interacted with him on Instagram a couple of times loosely, uh, just kind of seeing if he gave me the ick or if he seemed okay. And uh, as far as I was interpreting his demeanor, he seemed like a warm, interested, but like not responsive very often person. What do you think of him now? I don't want to say that on camera. I can't communicate to you. Every father knows what I'm thinking right now. Tyler met with Kissimmee police about their ongoing investigation. But do you think that Jennifer Soto knows more? I don't know. And I am I am interested in knowing, but I don't have reason to believe one way or the other right now. These, these are the things that the investigators are looking into. And now he won't get that chance. Instead, he's here to take the little girl's ashes home to be with him now. Was Jen a good mother? I, I don't know how I can excuse this. I don't know how I can excuse this. I don't know the whole truth though. I need to hear more. I need to hear more to answer that question. How did you find out? Uh, I was informed uh, through the phone call from Jennifer uh, that she was missing. Um, we weren't sure if uh, she was like actually missing or if she was staying at a friend's house at the time. We were trying to like wait to see if she showed up and by the second day I couldn't, I couldn't wait anymore. So I drove down to uh, Florida. I love what I had of her, but we were supposed to have so much more. And it's, I can't, I can't grasp it. I can't grasp it. How's the temperature feel? Better than it was. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Don't don't know why they don't do that. You know, why don't why don't they just kind of like at least give you a blanket? You know. No, but my core temperature was down. The time they took it, it was like a degree or two lower than it should have been. Wow. That sounds rough, man.
body get back to a normal temperature? Yes, sir. What kind of music you like? You like classical music? person that's ever said classical music. Yeah. Classical. Like what? Like like give me like a like a classical song or, or. You're the first one. I've never had anyone tell me classical music. And I actually like classical music. I do. I've never been to like like a like an orchestra or like like a like a like a like a concert like that. I've never been to one. song but let's say November Rain right by Guns N' Roses what Slash does with the guitar towards the end of that that whole track he literally makes that guitar cry like it's one of those moments where you're like wow wow I like Metallica. Metallica is my all-time favorite. Queen is yeah. I haven't seen their their that that latest movie with like like the 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 guy that uh, was on the sitcom. I haven't I haven't seen the the Queen movie yet. Like Lincoln Park. Well, he followed along the same lines as uh, um, this guy from uh, Soundgarden. Um, I forgot his name. Um, Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And then when he went over to Audio Slave, you ever heard Audio Slave? I mean, Audio Slave came out with like one album and it, 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 they just crushed it. Crushed it. Classical music, wow. You know, the one type of music I never got into was country. relate to it. I grew up in the city, so not much that I can relate to to driving a tractor and stuff like that on some of the songs that I've heard.
you grew up on a farm? Yeah. Wow. But it stinks. Well, why did you work there? Was it like your, your family's farm? So you're from Georgia? So once we get here, I gotta go into the interview room and I gotta do the uh, arrest affidavit. Okay. Um, basically, you have two two warrants, so I'll let you know what those are. What is the location of the emergency? Okay, what's going on? We need police fire medical. No, it's not a medical issue. We we have a missing child since this morning. We already called three times, and the police didn't show up yet. Are you listening? Or yes. do you know? Okay. Yes. Yes, ma'am. I see right here for you. Uh, Yes, ma'am. I see it. This is waiting for a deputy to respond. They haven't. They haven't come here yet. I, I'm aware, ma'am. I see it. It's waiting for a deputy to respond. You're waiting for a deputy to respond? Yes, ma'am. And how long? What do we need to wait? It's, it's a child missing. I understand, that, ma'am, but I'm just not able to give out ETA. I, I'm, I don't know when they'll be there. So how long do we need to wait? This is an I'm, emergency. Ma'am, we we have the information, but it just it. They're trying to get there someone as soon as possible. So this is not important for you guys, really? Then we are very busy in the area. Look, I understand they'll be there as soon as they can. Okay. Hmm. Nine one one. What is the location of your emergency? Um. Okay. Police and medical. Hi. Um. I called not that long ago reporting a missing child. I just wanted to know how long the cops are going to take to get here. Okay, hold on, let me open up the call and let's see. The call is still currently pending to have the deputies respond out there, but we don't have any available deputies. We still have the call up, though, holding. Okay, so, so no one's on their way yet? Not yet, no. Mm, does it take long for them to respond to the call? If there's a big emergency in the area um, and there's nobody, there's no units available, they put the calls on hold. But as soon as one becomes available, they respond to the next pressing call. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we just need one here urgently. So I understand. Um, we still have the call. We still have the call holding. Y yes. Yep. We still have the call holding for them. I'll go ahead and update them with the information. All right, thank you, because this happened very recently, so we just want to get everyone here. She's been missing since 8 a.m., so we want to get everything done as soon as possible to try to find her. I understand. Okay. Thank Hello. you. 911, what's the location of your emergency? Um, it's and is there a specific apartment number, ma'am? 
Uh, it's and do you need police, fire, or medical? Uh, police, possibly. I'm reporting a missing child. Okay. And what is the name of the business there, ma'am? The business? Um, okay. And the child that you're trying to report missing, are you calling on behalf of the of the parent? Yes, yes, on behalf of the mother. She's okay. Sister. Okay. And then so, and ma'am, how old is the child? And could I go ahead and get her name? Yes, it's me. And is she white, black, or Hispanic? She's white. Okay. Blonde and hair, dirty blonde hair, blue eyes. Okay, hold on with me here. And then what color shirt and pants was she last seen wearing? Um, hold on, let me ask. So um what color shirt and like what was she last wearing? Hold on, oh, we're finding out. Okay, and then how long has it been, though, since you guys have last seen her? Since this morning. She was dropped off um, at school this morning, and apparently she never showed up. We called um, everyone we knew. No one's seen her. Okay, and then so, ma'am, I just want to confirm, though, was she last seen from this address? The is this where you guys last saw her? No, 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 no. Um, she was last seen at the church next to Hunters Creek Middle School. I think it's called Peace Church. I'm not sure of the exact address. Uh, she was wearing a dark green hoodie, I believe. What is the name of the church? Uh, I think it's I'm, I'm pretty sure it's called Peace Church. It's the one right next to Hunters Creek Middle School. It's the, well, no, no, no. Got it. It's, it's across the street Middle. from it? Um, I, I believe so, yeah. There's, there's two. I just forgot about the other one. It's not Focal Point Church. It's, um... Well, is it Peace United Methodist Church? Yes, yes. Okay. It's that one. Okay, is she diagnosed with any medical mental conditions at all? Um, I know she takes medication for ADHD, and I think that I'm pretty sure that's it. Okay. Sorry, bear with me here. And is she known to carry anything on her person, like a pocket knife, a pepper spray, anything at all like no, that? No, okay. no, nothing like that. Does she have a cell phone that she might keep on her person? She does it. She had one when she left at home conveniently today. Okay. Okay. And ma'am, what is your name? My name is... Okay, perfect. Thank you. And just so we recognize you, when we arrive there, though, at the advance, to come meet with you guys, are you, ma'am, white, black, Indian, Asian, or Hispanic? I'm Hispanic. And what color shirt and pants will you be wearing? Uh, pants, dark wash jeans. Uh, I have a green cardigan on and a white shirt. Thank you. And I just need to verbally confirm as all. Well, do you have any at all weapons on your person? No, I do not. Okay. All right. And are you going to be waiting for us inside? Um. Yeah. Uh. I'll probably I'll come outside. I just to see through glass. I'll see when you guys show up. Okay. Perfect. Then. So then I'll get a call place for service. We'll have deputies out there to the to come and make a report with you and to come and assist with trying to find your. Okay. Okay. Her mother and my. Um. They're going to the school to double check and everything, but from what we know, she wasn't there. So they should okay. be back soon, too, because it's right next to the that's, school. Yeah, that's fine. So if, if at least one of you remains there, though, at, to meet with an officer, that's more than fine, okay? Yeah, I'll be here. I'll be here. Okay, then. All right. Thank you so much, ma'am. And I'll go ahead and let you go. We'll be out there as quickly as we can, okay? Okay. All right. Bye-bye, ma'am.
Thank you so much. Bye-bye. I really don't think she would have ever done anything like that. So just to pick up and run away with no trace of anything. She, she, was, she was really talkative, she's nice. But just to see what happened and how many cool people we have in this world is really devastating. Because she was only 13 and she lost her life at a young age. Nobody like expected that something like this would happen. And it was like a, like a, like a hole is missing because everybody at school even they're like sad on Monday and Friday, teachers were crying. Everybody's like sad about it, so to get justice, it would like, there's still gonna be a hole in people's hearts, but it might close it a bit more just if there's justice.